Meet Dr. Paulo César Frutuoso. Hi everyone, we are bringing here now Dr. Paulo César Frutuoso. And well, all over the world, society has been facing very profound and serious problems. In many countries, polarization goes overboard, for example, with violence and hatred being gravely out of control and more often than not, with no clear reason for that. And that's why we feel the moral duty to bring to you serious people who in contact with the so-called paranormal issues had an outstanding change of heart in their lives. Dr. Fructose is one of these people that by having witnessed numerous cases of spiritual materialization and physical phenomena, took stand on this subject and has been unveiling in books, lectures, all he has experienced and investigated. Well, the afterlife being in a sound reality, it becomes clear that most of the problems we've been going through are connected with the fact that many of us persistently overlook this reality. Dr. Frutuoso graduated in medicine from the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro and he has a master's degree from the Fluminense Federal University and he is also vice director at Mario Croft Hospital. He is a surgeon, professor, lecturer and writer and he has even recently been invited to a session in the Brazilian Federal Senate for an homage to his work. This is his first clip of a short series with Dr. Frutuoso sharing with us his experience. I hope you enjoy it. Spirit Connections. Hi, Dr. Paulo Cesar Frutuoso. It's a great, great honor to have you here with us at uh, Spirit Connections. And I firstly, first of all, I thank you and I welcome you to our channel. And uh, for, for uh, receiving our invitation and having this conversation with us. It's a great pleasure to have you with us here. Hi, everyone. Those who are watching me now, it's a great pleasure and honor to be able to hum somehow cooperate with our knowledge and experience acquired in the last 41 years, which is linked to extremely rare phenomenon in human history and which I usually classify as teletransportation and materialization of spiritual beings that come from a parallel universe to where, where all of us will go one day when we go through the natural phenomenon of death or, or discarnation. This story began around 1972 when my father, a very powerful medium at the time, had already been attending a circle in which these phenomena happened here in Rio de Janeiro. And one day as I came home from college, I met my father with a big spot of blood on the interior side of the shirt, the front side. And on asking him what had happened, a wound or an accident, the reply was, well, I don't know whether you believe it or not, but I was operated on in a hyperphysical surgery. Hyperphysical surgery is the one that goes beyond the human body's physical border. Well, I'd never been told about that and, and asked him, who operated on you? He said, look, I was operated on by teletransported and materialized spirit medical doctors. So there came one more surprising and intriguing reply from my father, mostly for a medicine student. And I went on to ask him, but which organ have you been operated on? On my stomach, he said. Did you feel anything wrong in your stomach by the time? No, nothing wrong. Well. I was doing the third year of medical school and, that, and decided to tell him the following. I'm going to take you, my father, to see a gastroenterology professor of mine called Toledo and I'll ask him to examine you. So I did. And at the time there was no digestive endoscopy 
the tests on the digestive tube, like esophagus, stomach, and duodenum, were carried out through tests with iodide uh, contrasts, in which the patient had to swallow a sort of fluid to be seen in the, the x-rays. And by means of a row of x-ray photos, we were able to get to know what the stomach, the esophagus, and duodenum were like through a technique then called esophagus gastroduodenal seriography. And to my surprise, while the radiologist was carrying out the test, he questioned, has your father been operated in his stomach? What should I answer? No, mostly because there were no scars on his abdomen. And that was the first event that awoke in me some scientific curiosity about what could have happened. That was the beginning of everything. And it wasn't until 1978 that I was able to dedicate more comprehensively to the subject six years later. When I started taking part in the same circle my father had been undergone to that strange surgical intervention called hyperphysical surgery. And I had to make an important decision in my professional life. I was a surgeon already. I'd been graduated for three years and had, had finished my medical residency. And the point was Who would, would give him or herself to a surgeon under anesthetics, to a surgeon who believed in ghosts? And what if this surgeon confessed that he believed in ghosts wearing white sheets over their bodies? Then I had to make this decision. I could take the left pathway and say to myself, there's nothing like this really happening in my life. Or I'd turn right and start researching in signs the phenomenon being shown before me. And with the decision of taking the pathway to the right, I had a great surprise. In my research, I came across important, very important names in history and mostly in the scientific field, medicine Nobel Prize winners included, who had looked into the phenomena, witnessed the phenomena, verified scientifically the same phenomena that came up before me and had concluded they were real although still in a cloudly explanatory way before science as to how those uh, phenomena might happen then I thought I should not stop anymore and if that issue had been put available to me, the, the possibility of research and scientific verification, being that there were such rare phenomena in human history, why shouldn't I dedicate to the investigation and study of this phenomena? And I've never stopped.